my point is to say that there is nothing wrong with Nigerians or there's nothing wrong with Africans. That identity is a human condition. If you looked at the early apostles of Jesus Christ, take Peter for instance, he couldn't get himself to preach to the Gentiles because he felt he was superior to them. He couldn't eat like they do. They eat dirty things. He doesn't eat dirty things. In so-called advanced democracies, you will find incidences of racism in England or if you are looking at English football, it is there. If you look at America, it is there today. Out of all the many experimentations of America, they've only had one black president, and that black president was still heckled by a section of the population until he left office. I don't want Nigerians to be working hard on things that doesn't exist. Many of the ethnic bigots we see in Nigeria are not even the uneducated people. They are the professors. These are people who have three PhDs. These are people who have studied outside of the country, yet you cannot educate them out of their bigotry. During the elections, a, a, a Yoruba candidate will speak in a manner that will rile up his Yoruba ethnic base. An Igbo man will come back and speak to his Igbo base. An Hausa man will come back and speak to his Hausa base. So that's a human condition. So that is the same thing with Americans. When they want, they can rile up their bases. The bases of people who are pro-abortion, pro-life, pro-this, anti-abortion, anti-this. So people always want to identify with their base. So instead of looking for impossible feats to achieve, why don't we make a rule-based system? Even if you are Yoruba and you got in with Yoruba votes, no problems. But there is a limit to what you can do especially as to making it outrightly unlawful not just recommending character principle but can we make it outrightly unlawful for a Yoruba president to do certain Yoruba things can we make it outrightly unlawful for an Igbo president for instance to do certain Igbo things can we make it outrightly unlawful an impeachable offense so that even while you have the tendencies to favor your people you don't simply have the opportunity for instance look at Sadiq Khan who is the uh, Prime Minister of UK he's not a, even an original English man but the, he cannot begin now to favor for his country. The laws are there. Even Obama, when he was the president of America, he could not have favored the blacks against the whites. That is the way that even if you have an ethnic bigot in the presidency, can we make it practically impossible for him to abuse his office in such a way that will offend other sensibilities? So let us elect a rule-based system instead.